Martin Truex Jr. may have announced his retirement at the end of the 2024 season, but he might not miss the 2025 Daytona 500. Plus, Kyle Busch sounds like he really wants to get out of Richard Childers Racing. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. On Friday at his hometown track of Iowa Speedway, Martin Truex Jr. announced his retirement from full-time NASCAR Cup Series competition at the end of the 2024 season. When the checkered flag falls at his desert home track of Phoenix Raceway, he'll walk away. Well, potentially, because he could be back for the 2025 Daytona 500, so technically wouldn't miss a race until like the second week of 2025. But during his press conference when he announced his retirement, Joe Gibbs Racing said that he would stay on as an ambassador and he would likely make select starts. And Martin says he wants to make, you know, still continue to race, just not on a full time basis. He wants to go off and do other things. So maybe he does trucks with Tricon or some JGR Xfinity stuff, maybe, you know, sharing a ride with his brother at times and then potentially making some one off Cup Series starts. Obviously, Joe Gibbs Racing fields four cars. So where would that seat come from? Uh, logically, 2311 Racing, and Denny Hamlin was asked about that during his media availability at Iowa this weekend as well. And this is what he had to say. 2311 needed a substitute driver at some point next year. I told him that I will have his Daytona 500 car ready immediately. <laughs> so you'll tell me the word. You, you'll add a car to your stable. 100%. I would 100%. So before that clip, Denny was like, hey, I've gone back and I tried to think of like anything that Martin's done bad to me over the course of our careers. And they've been in the Cup Series nearly as long as each other. Um, and he's like, I couldn't come up with anything, right? Uh, and that's actually really good because Denny Hamlin's had a run in with a lot of guys. But Martin is a super clean driver, super respectful on track, has great race craft. And for Denny to be like, hey, at the drop of a hat, just tell me when I'll get your Daytona 500 car ready. That's uh, that's really cool. I, I, I think we all want to see that happen. Martin, of course, came really, really close to winning the 2016 Daytona 500, but got beat out in a photo finish by Denny Hamlin. So Denny giving him the opportunity to come back and run for a Daytona 500 win is cool in itself. And Denny's smart here because Toyota would really like to have more cars on track. And if you can get four, potentially four 2311 racing cars on track with your four JGR cars and your two, maybe three cars from Legacy Motor Club, that is stacking the field in your favor. And Denny's definitely smart about that. He knows Martin's a great uh, plate racer, great drafter, knows how to work these races. And having him there would just be like Brad Keselowski putting David Reagan in that stage 60 car at this year's Daytona 500. The power of three is much better than the power of two. The power of four for 2311 racing, much better than the power of three. Of course, we have to wait for the charter agreement to get approved because there's a provision in there that limits teams to only holding three charters unless you're, you know, Rick Hendrick or Joe Gibbs. So would that allow them to field a fourth open car? I would assume so, but I guess we have to wait for it to actually be in writing. But either way, Martin Truex Jr. coming back to run the Daytona 500 or select other races with 2311 Racing would be very cool to see. Now, who's going to replace Martin Truex Jr.? Well, the rumor mill kind of keeps churning out Chase Briscoe, Eric Jones, maybe, Noah Gragson. That doesn't seem like it's going to happen at all. But then Kyle Busch's name kept coming up. So he was asked about it this weekend at Iowa Speedway. And let's just say, Kyle blink twice if you're being held captive uh, because he said that if he was offered the chance to go back to Joe Gibbs Racing, he would welcome it. Hendrick Motorsports, he would welcome it. And then, well, you just take a listen to what he had to say. I I would say there's anything's possible always, you know, certainly that that uh, if I was welcomed, I would go back. If Hendrick welcomed me back, I would go back. But right now I'm at RCR with my group of guys and um, in, in the deal that I have right now in place. And so we're trying to work and build this program and make RCR great again. RC cannot be happy about that whatsoever. I mean, I feel like we're weeks away from a Tyler Reddick type of release from Richard Hill's Racing that said says this could not come at a worse time for us. It sounds like Kyle Busch is ready to jump ship immediately. It just started taking on water. We're out. We're going to go back to where we came from. It was way better over there than it is here. Now, keep in mind, over the year and a half that he's been at Richard Hill's Racing, he, of course, has won three races. Granted, those three wins came in the first 16 races with RCR last year, but in his final three seasons at Joe Gibbs Racing, he only won four races. So numbers-wise, he's still doing better over here than he did at Joe Gibbs Racing. However, I think that he can maybe see the overall view at Richard Childress Racing, and it's certainly not headed in the direction that maybe Joe Gibbs Racing was. They don't get the same factory support from Chevrolet that Gibbs gets from Toyota. And I think that Kyle is now realizing that he's going to have to really overdrive this equipment. And I think that's why we keep seeing so many wrecks out of him and so many mistakes. Because he knows that he's not going to win in this equipment unless he drives it much beyond its means. And it's just not working out for him right now. But it's a lot like talking about going back to your ex-wife because she says she still loves you. While your current wife is like... What the heck? Thought we got married here for a reason. 
So I can't imagine RC is very happy about it. Kyle did clean it up at the end when he was like, hey, but we're, you know, I'm here with my guys. We're trying to build RCR, make RCR great again, which is, of course, a cheeky little smirk that he got out of him because of RC's, you know, ties. But at the end of the day, I think if Kyle Busch was offered that chance to go back to Joe Gibbs Racing, he would hop on it immediately. Now, of course, he has a team option for next year, which apparently has been picked up. And as he mentions in his... Um, interview right there that he has a no talk clause as well meaning he can't talk to other teams which is pretty standard uh, by the most part so it doesn't sound like Kyle Busch is leaving now granted we didn't think Tyler Reddick was going to leave a year early either and then they worked a buyout there I don't think that Richard Childress Racing is going to allow Kyle Busch to leave early though um, regardless if there's a buyout or not and I don't think Joe Gibbs Racing is willing to I don't know buy Kyle Busch out to bring him back in although you could argue that it would maybe make a little bit of sense, especially with Denny approaching retirement age. I don't know if he's you know, he's probably got two to three years left in him. Maybe Kyle only has two to three years left in him. But two veterans paired up with two younger guys, that being Chris Rebell, who's actually almost 30, not actually that young anymore, and Ty Gibbs is probably not a bad thing, right? And if you had the option of getting Chase Briscoe or Kyle Busch, I feel like you got to take Kyle Busch in that situation. So... For Kyle, it definitely seems like he maybe, possibly, probably wants to get out of RCR, but at the same time, he kind of has to, you know, do the best that he can. And this is coming weeks after he told Ricky Stenhouse Jr. after the All-Star race, I suck just as bad as you suck, which is the biggest, like, ricochet shot insult for Ricky being like, hey, dude, I suck. You suck always, but now I suck like you suck. And it's just not a very good situation over there right now for, for Kyle by the sounds of it. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think about Martin potentially coming back to run the Daytona 500 or other races for 2311 Racing and the entire Kyle Busch situation because it really sounds like he wants to get out of there. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.